Hey, I'm Mr. Bleeple, and I'm the analyst for the Boston Uprising. What exactly is an Overwatch analyst's job, if you were to explain it to somebody who's just like, yo, what do you do for a living? Okay, well, the term analyst, I guess, varies team to team. Um, in a broad sense, I guess it would be somebody whose job it is to break down the game into very like specifics that can be covered by multiple people so like everybody can understand what's going on. Um, for the Boston Uprising specifically, my job is more stats-based. I'm looking more into this, the statistical side of Overwatch and um, whatever we can pull from scrims, in-game matches, other teams, etc. Uh, my job is to like review those kind of stats and see if we're lacking in anything or if another team's lacking in something, if we could like abuse something that we see from them. Um, but other teams, obviously, an analyst could be just somebody who comes up with general game plan or strategy or just like tells people why things are going wrong. So your job is more like a numerically based stats oriented, right? Where do you actually get the stats to work with? Because the stuff we get on Overwatch League's broadcast is pretty limited and it's not like you can go back and watch a replay because those don't exist. Don't exist yeah. So what do you use? So, well, for me personally, there's a lot of stuff I have to track manually um, because there's just things that a computer can't really detect. Like what? Um, let's say who engages first in a team fight and what the result of that team fight is. Something like that I'd have to count by myself, not you can't do that with a computer unless it's like very advanced. So we're not we're not there yet in terms of technology. Um, other things we can track, such as eliminations, um, who dies first, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That we can all read from the screen, which is pretty easy to do, and we have programs for that. Um, but as for scrim matches, we don't really get anything from Blizzard. We are responsible for getting those stats ourselves. Um, but for the actual matches, we do get stats from Blizzard, and those are very helpful, for sure. Okay, I know a lot of the stats that are emphasized on the broadcast are things like final blows, damage, you know, all the gold medal stats, right? But as an analyst, which stat lines are the most important for you to bring to the team in like a productive manner? Well, I guess obviously it matters a lot on like what I'm using the stats for. Um, for example, if we're looking fresh into a week and we just have like no base, we don't know where to start, I'd be like, okay, let me look at what maps we have first of all, obviously, what are our win rates, where are we most likely to get held on that map, where do we struggle the most, what takes the most time to actually like finish on that part of the map. Then I'll also look at team compositions of, own, of our team and the enemy team and see like what's most likely to be ran by them and then see what that kind of team comp struggles against statistically. Um, so stuff like fight win rates and just like general comparing how well a fight goes for A comp compared to B comp, um, that kind of stuff is usually what I start off with. All, all of this math and statistics and game theory, what's your, uh, what's your background in terms of prior to Overwatch? Well, I don't have that much. I, was, I only did like one year of um, computer science and statistics at the University of Toronto. But I've always been interested in numbers since I was a little kid, and it's just something I've been doing as a hobby, really. So when I heard about this job, I was like, this is perfect for me. I really need to do this, and I just applied, got it. It was good. You said you only spent a year at Toronto, but you did compete on University of Toronto's uh, Overwatch Chess, Collegiate Series team last year. Yeah. So how did your involvement in the Collegiate Overwatch scene help you in the development of your career now? Well, Collegiate was really the first time I'd ever got to experience esports in like a professional-esque manner. Um, sure, there's a lot to be improved on in Collegiate, especially with the quality of the teams, because you're restricted to anybody who's in your college, so just off of that, you're very limited. But the stuff that you can transfer over from Collegiate to regular play, or like high-level play, such as like just team management, just bring up the morale, knowing how to plan for teams, etc. All that stuff kind of carries over. So it was my first like kind of taste of what it is, what it's like to prepare for teams and stuff like that. So it, it definitely helped me prepare for this job. When you were actually competing on the team, did you 
play that analyst role for the team? Were you pulling numbers like you are now or maybe just getting into it? Yeah, it was really basic back then. Really, the first thing I ever did number-wise was I would go through all the teams that we were playing against. I would see like the individual SR of every player we're going to go up against. And I like categorized it and, and like said, okay, this team supports are really bad, so we should look to dive their supports more often. Or this team's DPS are very bad, so we know our tanks can make more space. Etc. and stuff like that but that was like very basic just like just off of people's SR but that's what basically got me interested it's tricky to market yourself as like an analyst right because when you want to be a pro player on a team you can say oh I'm you know this rank I played on these teams but as an analyst especially in a new game like this it's like how do you prove that you know what you're doing well, for me, when I was trying to get this job, I was lucky that Huck really took his time into looking into every applicant. Um, he's done a great job, obviously, with that. He is, I would say, the best person in scouting in the entire Overwatch industry right now. Um, he understands what to look for. He understands stuff that he wanted from me that I didn't even know I could do. So he, he's been a big part of the overall process of picking up uh, a team that would work well with his philosophy of how he wanted Boston to be run. Give me an example of that, something that you didn't know that you could do, that Huck got you to do. Um, for example, if when, when we were in tryouts and we were picking out our roster, Huck was like, um, can you like give me some kind of idea as to like how certain DPS duos perform together as opposed to individually? And I was like, yeah, I could actually overlay some of those and see that some perform better with a certain playstyle and we could break DPS players into separate playstyles. And I, I, I never actually thought of that. Uh, it helped a lot, especially in our scouting. For more Overwatch interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.